are in Asda today and we are going to show you how to make your own homemade candles for a fraction of the price of a Yankee candle. So our large jars normally retail for about £19, the one in Asda's that at home are normally about £13. So it's a little bit better but we want to try and beat that price. So we've started off by getting our wax. Now they suggest getting a bag of like pre-melted wax but the problem being with that, that's £9-£10. So if you're kind of not saving any money so we started off with these 100 tea lights for two pounds from asda i'm sure you can get them cheaper like b m home bargain stores we've got these ones so we're gonna chip these down and melt them and then add some essence to it to make our scented candle so let's go get the other ingredients so now we're getting our oil so this is what makes the candle scented now we've just found these for a pound in asda again you may be able to get them cheaper elsewhere so please comment below if you can to help everybody out so i'm just going to choose which one to go for I'm thinking I might go for a nice spring. So we're in Hobbycraft now and we have picked up our, whatever you call them, wicks. They are £3.49. They are actually cheap online but for the purpose of the video we needed them today. So it's definitely cheaper to look online. I'll add some links below as well to get them cheap. So you've seen us get our ingredients as such to make our candle. So now we're going to go through the step-by-step -step guide on how to make the perfect candle. So I've already done it, so we're going to skip to the future now. And this is how it has turned out. And it's not too bad at all. It's got a little bit of a yellowy colour, but that's not always bad. That's quite a nice colour to it. And it smells really nice. So the oil is definitely absorbed into the wax and it smells like a proper Yankee candle. The only little thing is, is we have a crack in the middle right by the wick. So it's got a little bit of a crack, but I'm hoping that once we sort of like it goes through with the flame, hopefully it shouldn't be too bad. Now for the grand total of how much this cost me to make. 
one pound and 21 pence so how we work that out is we divided how many candles we used how many wicks we used etc all the contents we used and divided it by the amount because we can make another like four or five candles so even if it costs a bit like at first at least you know it's not just a one candle you can make two or three candles with it so it's definitely worth doing i really want to experiment with some colors next time so i make some purple ones blue ones and some stronger fragrances as well but i need to get my head around what you can and can't put in a candle because i think we kind of just guess with this one but it's definitely a great like a great candle for a first timer i'm really happy so if you've got any suggestions or any top tips for other users to like take from you please comment below and help us all out and let me know how you get on with your candles and how much you've saved